Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here hosting the 11-11-2017 StarCraft II tournament. First round is Silver Tiger vs. Vers uh, DRJ-119. We all know him as Paladin Shotgun. Uh, that's his old nickname, for goodness sake. Uh, this is going to be a setup between the Terran and the Protoss. The rules for this are... There aren't really any rules. Uh, go ahead and rush... Build units, do whatever. There's no real rules of engagement for this whole thing. Um, no five-minute wait before attack period. No units are restricted, whatever. We're playing Legacy of the Void. Um, getting this going on. I'm spectating. Hey, John Megacycle here. And uh, we're just going to be going through. And I'm hoping this is going to be a clean, fun fight. Uh, this is the first StarCraft II tournament I've hosted for Megacycle Entertainment. So we're going to see exactly how this pans out. Um, okay, we see shotguns straight up, and we have a silver tiger over here. Oh, this is nice. Resources, supply, this is very cool. This is the first time I've spectated a StarCraft match. Now, we've already got shotgun doing a, a pro brush. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to cost him quite a bit economically, so we're going to see what's going on. And we already see silver tiger doing the standard supply depot block off. That's not a bad idea. That gives his units, his marines, a bit more range to do attacking while providing some protection. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, right now, Silver Tiger is absolutely dominating economically, so that's where this is going to become really interesting all the same. Okay, hopefully Silver Tiger reacts, and yes, he does. Now, granted, Silver Tiger's sitting on significantly more credits right now, or... Gosh, minerals. And, yep, this could end either way. And Silver Tiger came out victorious. That's going to be very interesting. Uh, Shotgun's going to have to really, really struggle in order to get enough of his economy back online. Very interesting tactic. It's been a long time since I've seen a probe rush. Uh, absolutely hands down, bar none. It's been a very long time since I've seen a probe rush. Zealot rush, Zergling rush, Marine rush, totally legit. Uh, usually that happens by, in this case, if uh, Silver Tiger was going to do a marine rush, he would build his barracks right about here, right at the foothold of the enemy base, which would be Paladin Shotgun. And that would kind of provide a very solid blockade, giving him a lot of maneuverability. He kind of seals off a lot of the map that way if he were to play in that manner. So I've seen that before. But that's interesting that Shotgun did a pro brush um, with a chrono boost. Yeah, Chrono Boost. I'm really hoping that Shotgun can really pull this through. Providing enough minerals, getting his workers built faster. Uh, it provides a 15% build speed upgrade. Uh, and it casts continuously in Legacy of the Void. In other versions of the game, it was something that was an ability that needed to be called upon over and over and over again. But you're seeing this is an auto cast. It's just around the thing. No big deal. Alright, Shotgun's getting his economy back up. Uh, it looks like Silver Tiger, yep, has built a barracks. And I'm going to guess a bunker is going to go there. Building the barracks there again buys him more time. So it's not really something he's got to sweat over, which isn't too bad. You know, not a bad idea. No, but what he's doing with it, I'm not sure. All right, Vespine's coming online. Uh, for shotgun, okay, there's the first pylon. To which he must construct additional. Now, I'll be straight up with you, Legacy of the Void is not an expansion I'm very familiar with. I know the pylons can have these warp conduits. Yeah, that's what they're called. And a few other niceties. Um, there's a few other neat things like the Mothership Core. I don't have any idea what the heck this does. Mobile Flying Caster. I mean, there's there's a lot of neat stuff. So I'm not counting Shotgun out at all. I'm sure there's, there's some tricks up his sleeve he's going to be doing. Uh, I'm not seeing at all any expansion out of Silver Tiger, even though he's sitting on almost a thousand, oh, well over a thousand minerals. That's interesting. Okay, starting to get his barracks online. Yep, that's what I would have expected a while ago. I've seen Terran commanders move to the site and start building, or I've also seen them build the command center inside of their four walls and then move it out. Now, this map doesn't have any real sealed-off areas, even in the corners. This isn't, like, sealed off as an area you could just take a ship to and set up. Uh, this is Coda LE. It's the name of this one. Uh, this is the one I've chosen out of maybe a dozen and a half maps. Shotgun and I sat down, 
and we hammered through and we thought what was the most fair what wasn't mega huge 1v1 maps um, so this is the one we kind of chose and the way we play this with our other tournaments we're just going to be choosing this one throughout so every single match is going to be this map seeing a few move orders um, I really wish I could just see oh wait maybe I can actions per minute wow this is insane income Wow, sorry. This is uh, dang, that's awesome. Okay, I I'll be stupefied about that later. Uh, what I'm more concerned about is, or what I'm more curious about, interested about, is if Shotgun does a really good job ramping up some tech. If he can out tech uh, Silver Tiger, this is going to be a very interesting match all the same. Again, I'm not seeing a lot of Marines. Oh, Reapers. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, he needs about three more barracks, though, to really start spending down his money. Um, okay, some bunkers, as one would expect. Very soon, Silver Tiger should be able to tap into Air Force stuff. Okay. It, it, it is as if Shotgun is aware of the Reapers. So he's going through and he's taking a little bit of extra time sealing that off with some turrets. Good move on him. Now the Protoss don't have any real scan the map abilities. Um, they could just he could just send out a flyer to go see what's what, but he doesn't really have a good way to just see the world. Uh, the Terran have an orbital command which is right here that allows them to do a what's it called a scanner sweep. Oh, looks like we have the first push of some of these fancy dancy Reapers, and. Kind of looking to see what's going on here. Oh, cool. Shows me the range of that. Yep, okay. He spotted the thing. Try it the other way. Yep, shotgun did actually a pretty good job shutting down all access using the Reapers. Uh, gateway. Okay, so another gateway, which is kind of the barracks. If you're not familiar with playing Protoss, yep, and Photon Turret's over there. Oof. Easy kills for Shotgun. Okay, so now we're seeing the Air Force from the Terran. Silver Tiger's kicking that on. That's what I wanted to see. With that much money, if you're not shifting over to Battle Cruisers or some more late-tech items, even some Banshees would be brilliant right now. But if you're not going to switch over to that, that kind of wastes all this money. And I'm using money very open-ended with the resources. That's kind of the thing, is sitting on a bunch of cash is going to do you little to no good. Okay, Shotgun is very much hunkering down. He's got some good stuff going on, considering the late start with that Pro Brush. Definitely, I'm sure that caught Silver Tiger unawares, but Silver Tiger did a pretty good job keeping himself cool and fighting off that attack. Okay. Now we have an economic difference of almost double. There's the scan that I was talking about. Whoa, I don't even know what the crap these are doing. Where did that come from? <laughs> I was watching over here for so much. I'm okay. Okay, so now these are warp gates, I think? Yes, warp gates. So now it looks like anywhere they have... Anywhere Shotgun has pylon control, he'll be able to just warp units to? Gosh, that could be very powerful if he can get a pylon on the other side of the world. Gateways, gateways, robotic facilities, dang. So he's stocking up on these stalkers and sentries. Stalkers have the blink ability, which allows them to teleport a very short distance. Not very short, but a short distance all the same. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, is it going to show me what he's seeing? Oh, awesome sauce. <laughs> okay, seeing some Banshee stuff. Yep, cloaking for the Banshees. That's a perfect move. Um, yeah, if he didn't ramp up into some of the Vespine, I was going to be pretty disappointed. Uh, but it looks like... I'm just going to break camera here. It looks like he's got all his defenses up front, which could be very dangerous uh, for him defensively. 
Let's take a look at shotgun. Lots of stalkers. Lots of stalkers. That could be very interesting. Lots of gateways. And without an economic expansion, he's going to be tapped out pretty soon. This is going to be interesting, interesting. Does it work like this? Oh, it totally works like that. Awesome. Man, the replayability, they, the spectating ability, they really thought out. This is very cool. More supply. I wish I could see the... Oh, there you are. Okay, so now he's very aware of shotguns goings on, building all of these warp gates. Shotgun's gonna have to start doing some pushing and soonish because now this is Silver Tiger's third expansion. Or second expansion? His third command center, I should say. Which makes that very disparate in, ec in economy. Shotgun's gonna have to punch once, and that's gonna have to be it. He's gonna have to be the new one punch man. I mean, this this is all it's gonna have to be. He's gonna have to move in one attack, and if it doesn't finish, that's gonna be very problematic for him. Okay, Shotgun is preparing for an aerial assault. Speaking of which, we have these bad boys, the battle cruiser of the Terran army. This new ability, the tactical jump, is absolutely ridiculously broken in my opinion. You warp to a target location. Battlecruiser is invulnerable while warping. This is absolute probe harassment textbook stuff. Right there. No problem. That's really going to coup de gras a bunch of shotguns economy if he's not careful. Oh, we see some turrets here. So that's good. Yep, third expansion coming online. Lots of Marines. I'm seeing a lot of diverse stuff from the Terran player, from Silver Tiger, and that's good to see. Okay, there's the expansion. Aside from that first, uh, first scrap, these players have turtled up pretty hard. Which means, what, 50% of the world is yet to be exploited for resources? That certainly says a lot. Yep, seen a good mix of stuff. Marines, Banshees, Battlecruisers. What I'm also interested in seeing is some of the Detectors. Now, I haven't seen any of the Detectors out of the Terran player. Uh, I keep forgetting what they're called. There. <laughs> um, they're missile turrets for the Terran. They are the photon cannon for the Protoss. So I think with some stealth units, Shotgun could really get some serious damage in here. Um, that wasn't really what I was talking about, though. There's these towers that do a radius of detection when an enemy unit comes around. I'm surprised I'm not seeing some of those. Considering, again, Silver Tiger sitting on almost 3,000 minerals, that's pretty nuts. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I'm not seeing any real detectors. And that is the correct strike from... Yep, so yeah, that's that was the right move by Silver Tiger. Get the pylon. Now, the thing is, I'm not seeing a detector. Oh, actually, those are detectors right there, the sentries, I believe. Yep, good work. Yep, those are detectors. I believe? Huh. Not sure, actually. Something is clearly detecting, though. Oh, there it is. The Observer. Okay. Good move on Shotgun. Minor setback there. Uh, Silver Tiger lost quite a few units in that. Um, he did get a few strikes in, though. Um, only thing is... Is again Silver Tiger sitting on so much freaking resources? This is kind of. It's almost irritating. <laughs> yep, and Silver Tiger's just gonna move to a third supply, load it right up. Yeah, realistically, a concentrated strike. And Silver Tiger would lose quite a bit of infrastructure right here, especially the SCVs. You could rush in, knock those out, run out, no problem. 
Okay, let's take a look. What else do we have for tech and resources and whatever? Probably a missile turret right there if I had money. Oh, nope, more supply. This camera mode is just delightful, not gonna lie. Okay. If I don't see a warp out of those, I'm not too sure what they're going to be used for. Um, in all seriousness, battle cruisers are pretty good pieces of aircraft. Certainly not bad. Let's check in with shotgun a bit here. Hoping to see, yeah, a bit more defense. Not a bad plan. Now, the only problem with Protoss defense is none of it's really mobile. A lot of the Terran defense is mobile, considering the Marines go in bunkers. Those can be, uh, the bunkers can be, uh, what are they called, salvaged? I believe salvaged, right? Uh, yeah, they could be salvaged for 75% of the mineral and gas and whatever. Uh, the Marines themselves are very mobile, so that helps, that helps a lot of positioning. Let's take a look at all this. Yep, that's just going to get straight murdered. And that's what I was afraid of, the coup de grace. Sorry about that. My audio blinked out for a second there. Yep, that's GG right there. Yep. That first push with the probes kind of spelled the doom, but I did want to see a bit more out of it. That's why I didn't say shotgun's done, forget it. Um, a little more aggressiveness, like literally just a little more aggressiveness, I think would have completely changed the scape of the battlefield. Um, especially with that second and that third expansion from Silver Tiger, definitely would have been changed if those stalkers would have went on the push. That's just my opinion, though. Um, still, solid game out of both these guys. We see, yep, average unspent. That number's ridiculous. Still, good match. Uh, quick score summary. Units, build order. I'm just clicking through in case you wanted to pause and take a look for yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm looking pretty anxious to another match right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, melee, right? Create lobby. And we're waiting on shotgun to approve. Okay, very good. Silver Tiger is the winner, and it looks like we're going to be going for... This is, again, this is a best of three tournament. I don't know how much of it I explained. So, let's see here. Okay, they're both ready. Let's do this thing. Uh, okay, so Silver Tiger switched over to Protoss. That's going to be an interesting setup. I'm hoping to see... Uh, some good technical combat out of these guys, but um, again, this is my first StarCraft II tournament I'm hosting, so I'm not really too sure what to expect. This is actually the first time I've also been doing any ob uh, observation, if I'm very honest about it. Okay, so there we are. Let's check out Silver Tiger first, since it always jumps over to Shotgun first. Couple of probes, couple of probes. Yep, standard stuff so far. Someone's getting mouthy. Okay, pylon right away. Pylon right away. These guys are pretty much lockstep with each other. 
Not seen too much variance. Looks like Silver Tiger is just slightly faster than Paladin Shotgun. Kind of flipping in between the two, if you couldn't tell. Um, right away to Vespine. That's interesting. Um, what am I seeing out of here? Two gate a gateway and a forge. Uh, the forge is needed for the photon cannon structure. I'm going to guess that we're going to see a pylon over here somewhere. And that's where he's going to set up. And start building this warp gate nonsense. Uh, nope, looks like this probe is just strictly for exploration. Okay, there's the pylon he dropped. Now, one probe is not going to take out a pylon. <laughs> this is interesting. So what, what do we have? What's going to be used that for? Silver Tiger's just dumping pylons everywhere. Shotgun's getting a good amount of money. <laughs> this is just interesting. Okay, so now what's going to happen here? I'm not seeing what I'd expect to see in order for this to make sense. Oh, photon cannons. Holy crap. What a jerk with a photon cannon rush. That's it. That's 2-4 Silver Tiger. Well played for both these guys. We'll check the score screen, and that's going to tap it out for this first match. Dang, that was cold. That was stone cold. Performance, score, units. Yeah, that was, that was a quick kill. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. All right. Well played. Next match coming up.